All right, I just wanted to make a short little video about my 91 Honda CRX I have with an 05 Acura TL full drive train. I was in the market for some axles and Hasport was having issues. I ordered a set, waited over four weeks for them, and they said they were unable to get the inner and outer joints for them. So I was kind of out of luck there. And uh, my local axle shop said that he was too busy to attempt it. So I was kind of on my own for some axles. And so what I ended up doing was going on to Rock Auto and I ordered a set of Trek Motive axles. I got a full set for a 91 Integra because they have the same end joints and they run a half shaft, whereas single cams don't run the half shaft and they just have a long axle. Kind of like back here, show you real quick. This is the axle that came out of the car with the single cam. They're like twice as long, they just don't run the half shaft in the middle. So Integras do because they're B-series. And so I ordered a set of 91 Integra axles for a manual, but I don't think it said any different online for automatic or manual. But for the J-series, I also ordered a set from an 05 Acura TL. That one I had to make sure it was a manual because they make different size splines. There's like a 29 tooth and a 27 tooth. And I just ordered one for a manual for an 05 TL and then a set of axles from a 91 Integra. And all I had to do was simply take the stock clamps off of here. They look like these, these little one-time use clamps. I just took a screwdriver and pried right up under there and popped that off. But on the insides of both of the axles, pulled the boot back and then the cups would just pop right off. They would just pull straight off the bearings. They have three little bearings that sit right here, right here, and on the same on this side. It's just a three pack of bearings. Slides right off. The bearings all stay together. They all have C-clips that sit around it and hold them to the little bearing pack. But essentially, once you pull this boot back, pull that off, there's a C-clip at the top. There's splines on the end of the shaft all the way up here that the bearings slide onto with a little C-clip at the top. You just pry that clip apart, pull it off, and then the bearings will just slide right off the shaft. And then I pulled this boot off too. And uh, all the grease that was inside this, I actually ended up saving. I just scooped it all out and put it in a spot and then just reused it later because it was fresh grease. I just put it in a clean spot, put it back. Make sure there's no dirt in it because a little bit of dirt will just destroy the bearings pretty quickly. So I'd recommend using fresh grease, but we're working on a budget here and it was already fresh grease and I just kept it clean, wore gloves, put it in a clean spot, put it back. But essentially, all I had to do, take the cup off, take that C-clip off, pull the bearings off, and then pull this boot off. And then I took the boot off of the J-series because it has this little groove right here where the B-series axles do not. It's actually just straight around all the way around. And so I needed the boot so that it would seal up properly. So essentially just took this entire end off of the B-series axle, took it off the J-series axle, and then put the J-series on here. The splines were exactly the same. The C-clip location was exactly the same. They're all built identical, completely identical. There's like no play in this at all with the axle shaft or the bearings. And uh, it turned out to be the perfect length that I needed. The, let's see, this is the right side. So on the website, they'll say left side and right side. The left side always means the driver's side and the right side always means the passenger side. It's as if you're looking at it backwards, like from the driver's seat. So essentially, yeah, left side axle from the J series, just put the end, the inside end on the B series axle and then just put it all back together. I have these uh, just regular hose clamps I was gonna use just cause I had them and I'm cheap, but they, uh, here I can see if I can show you here. There very tight with that. You can see there is a little bit of gap there. It's not actually touching. It's kind of hard to tell with the camera, but they, uh, they don't hit. But the, uh, the hose clamps will. The little piece sticking out, it'll rub against that. So what I ended up doing instead was I went on Amazon 
in order this set for like 25 bucks it's got all the stock one-time use clamps it's got like six small six large and then the tools to put them on and off and uh i'm gonna do that today swap those clamps out but uh yeah pretty much to recap it's super simple i just ordered a set of acura integra 91 axles a set of 05 acura tl axles manual and uh just literally just took this whole end off and then took it off the j series put it on there and it just lined up perfectly this one i don't have in the car right now but this one i do i can show you the amount of play it's got it's got tons of play it's not gonna bind up at all and uh yeah pretty excited essentially the whole set of axles like it was about a hundred dollars a set so like two hundred dollars total and uh the swap axles can go up to like six hundred dollars now which is freaking ridiculous <laughs> especially if they can't even make them anymore or having troubles to anyway so for 200 bucks and some change you know a little extra tools here and there i was able to make a set confirmed they both worked properly and I figured this would just might help anybody in the future that is doing a swap like this. Um, I assume it would work if you're running an automatic or like the 27 tooth. This one's the 29 tooth half shaft. Or the other end, you know, where it's uh, this is a female and this is a male half shaft. And it's vice versa as well for other swaps. So I, I want to say they'd probably be the same because if these B18 axles fit, then as far as I would guess, you know, that it should fit for like other swaps too, for J series that is. So that's pretty much it. I think I pretty much said everything I wanted to say. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to start driving this thing again. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.